So just a quick intro for the next video, video you're gonna see. It's the full press conference from Michelin from here at the Detroit Auto Show. And this is not a paid thing. They didn't sponsor it. They didn't do anything. We just sat in at this press conference because we know some of the people from Michelin. They're, they're great people. Uh, they're great to talk to. And it's always interesting to learn more about uh, chemistry voodoo that goes into making of tires. Uh, this press conference was interesting, and I think it's worth your time. It's going to be about a little over 15 minutes, and if you can't dedicate 15 minutes to listening to this thing, it's okay, move on, because you really should listen to the whole thing. Um, the premise is that, rightly, that most people don't think about is you put new tires on your car, and they're new right until the time you roll out, and then for a lot of tires, as tread wear goes down, so does the performance of the tire, right? Makes sense. Michelin has put in a lot of effort, and they, this is an ongoing thing with them, to keep the tire as consistent as possible from the time that it goes on your vehicle to the time is until the time is to replace it, right? And I'll let them tell you the whole story, and it's pretty interesting as far as energy use and money and things like that, and the distance of like certain tires and how quickly they fall off, and it gets to the whole thing of like cheap tires are cheap, right into the point that you're in a wreck and then all of a sudden it's not cheap. Those cheap tires didn't pay for themselves. So again, not sponsored by Michelin, not endorsed by Michelin, not endorsing anything by this. I just thought it was a really interesting press conference and I think it's worth your time to have a watch or at least just listen to it uh, as you're driving and you've got YouTube over here in your car and you're stuck in traffic. So see you next time on rumblestrip.net. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Scott Clark, Chairman and President, Michelin North America. Good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It's great to be here with you and to represent Michelin on a milestone occasion as we celebrate Michelin's 30th consecutive year as the show's exclusive tire sponsor. Let's get started this morning by thinking back to a scene that unfolded barely two months ago in the state of Nevada. An empty 12-mile stretch of highway that unrolls across the desert. Drones and helicopters buzzing in the air. Nervous excitement, people taking photos and videos. And a driver straps in behind the wheel of a Koenigsegg Agera RS. The door swings closed and he launches the car into history. When Christian von Koenigsegg, who's here with us today, introduced the Agera RS a few years ago, he promised that this car would push the boundaries. The Aguirre RS here is one of 28 that Koenigsegg produced, and this very car happens to be the fastest production car on the planet right now. We're grateful that the owner, Mark Stenham, who's also here with us, would display the car publicly here for the first time since making history last fall. This Aguirre RS posted the highest speed ever recorded in a production car at 277.9 miles per hour. That's roughly the distance of a football field every seven tenths of a second, breaking the previous record that was set back in 2010. The Aguirre RS set four other world records that day, including the highest recorded speed on a public road at 284 miles an hour, breaking a record that was untouched since, believe it or not, 1938. The Koenigsegg team achieved this with one set of tires on the car, Michelin's Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Tires that were not specially tuned, not modified in any way, but exactly the same tires that you can buy off the rack from your local dealer for your performance car. Even under extreme conditions, the Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires delivered the same reliable performance on the first top speed run as the sixth run. Internal temperature changes were barely a blip by most racing standards. Now, this brings me to another topic. Not only is Michelin capable of delivering extraordinary performance with tires for the Aguirre RS, Michelin also makes tires that deliver another type of extraordinary performance, that is, long-lasting performance for passenger vehicles like yours and mine. Michelin's recently opened a discussion about long-lasting performance with our customers, drivers, and others in the industry. For us, long-lasting performance means making tires that 
are designed to deliver good performance throughout the life of the tire. This matters just as much whether the tires are gripping a desert road at 278 miles an hour or holding your car on a wet road at 45 miles an hour. The truth is, there's a wide range of performance variation among tires over the course of their life. We see these variances clearly in test results for new tires that are published by credible third parties like Tire Rack and Consumer Reports. But most drivers still base their purchase decisions on factors like cost and mileage warranty. If drivers rely on research at all, they focus on published test results for new tires. The problem is, is that none of us drive on new tires. Starting from the day we leave the dealer shop, our tires begin to wear. As they wear, the performance attributes change, sometimes dramatically. How quickly the tire performance declines depends on many factors, like driver behavior, road conditions, weather conditions, vehicle make and model, as well as how the tire is designed and the materials that are used in the tire. So if new tires are not equal, the combination of these factors mean that worn tires may be even more unequal. It's also true that factors like price, warranty, and tread depth are poor predictors of a tire's performance in the long run, not to mention its safety down the road. You know, safety means different things to different people. But for the driver behind the wheel, tire safety means braking performance, and especially wet braking. So when Michelin talks about safety and long-lasting performance, we're specifically describing braking distance in wet conditions. We have many test results from multiple independent organizations that show how new tires perform. Have you ever wondered why we don't have test results that show how worn tires perform? Michelin's tested new versus worn performances in wet braking for many passenger tires at our test facility in Lawrence, South Carolina. In this demonstration, you'll see identical cars fitted with competing premium tires that are new and worn. The worn tires were buffed to the tread wear indicators that show the tire is near the end of its life. In the test, the drivers accelerated to 45 miles an hour, then executed a full ABS stop in a straight line on a wet track with a controlled depth of water. We measured the stopping distance with GPS-enabled measuring equipment. You can see the results for yourself. The brand A worn tire stopped at about the same distance as the brand B new tire. In this case, a tire, a new tire with 10 30 seconds of tread depth. And I'll stress again, this is a comparison between two premium tire brands, not a premium tire against a budget tire. And what about the brand B worn tire? With a tread buff to the wear indicator, the tire stopped almost 50 feet longer than its new version and almost 60 feet longer than the competing brand A worn version. In your daily driving, that can be up to four car lengths shorter, which also could make the difference between hitting the car in front of you or stopping safely. You know, the problem that drivers face when they buy new tires is they, they can't see and often don't understand the technical factors that make one tire different from another. These are factors like rubber compounds, tread design, size, shape, and depth of sipes, and so on. So how can consumers tell the difference? At Michelin, we believe we should help consumers understand that worn tires perform differently than new ones, and the tires can exhibit very different performance levels over the course of their life. We've started talking about worn tire performance with tire dealers and experts from around the country. You know, worn tire performance may seem complicated at first, but our premise is simple. Consumers should have reliable information about worn tires before they make a purchase. Now, this is a new insight for everyone in our industry, something Michelin believes that all of us need to start thinking about. Long-lasting performance is an issue that involves consumer safety and environmental impact. And Michelin's a company that thinks long-term about consumer safety, 
consumer value, and sustainable mobility. And we're starting a long-term discussion about performance standards for worn tires. I believe that Michelin's role is to make this new insight more visible to consumers and to tire dealers. And that's why our company supports testing of wet braking performance for worn tires, so that we can work together with dealers to help drivers make more informed choices about how their tires will perform over time. Drivers need more information to know the truth about their worn tires performance. As I said, it's a complicated issue, so they should be equipped with comparisons or ratings that make these differences clear when they purchase their tires. As I said earlier, replacing properly maintained tires before they're fully worn has other significant hidden costs, impacting the money in your pocket and the environment as well. If in an ideal world, all tires deliver long-lasting performance, we could all avoid wasting more than $25 billion that results from early removal of properly maintained tires. This early removal waste, if you will, derives from the increased fuel consumption from higher rolling resistance on new versus worn tires and for more frequent but unnecessary tire purchases. Removing the tires at 430 seconds forces the average driver to buy the equivalent of one new tire every two years. That's expensive, as much as $250 per driver. It's also about the same as a 40% increase in your tire budget for the same number of miles traveled. So keeping properly maintained tires in your car can also keep money in your pocket. Now based on some research from Ernst & Young and other industry sources, we've also calculated a hefty global impact on the environment when more tires are removed too soon. Early removal waste about 400 million tires a year worldwide. Think about the impact on landfills alone. Those 400 million scrap tires have other major environmental impacts as well, such as the increase in raw material consumption and the increase in land cultivated for natural rubber. And think about this. The cumulative energy required to replace that huge quantity of tires would also generate about 35 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions globally about the same as the entire city of New York's CO2 emissions for six months. Clearly, this is a major challenge for our industry. In March, Michelin will expand the tire line that addresses many of the long-lasting performance challenges that I've described today, the Michelin Premier All-Season Tire, which was introduced as a revolutionary concept right here in Detroit in 2014. Michelin will add 14 new sizes in the most popular H and V rated dimensions for the Premier All Season, starting in March, resulting in a total of 59 sizes that cover almost 90% of the market for sedans and crossover vehicles in the United States and Canada. The Michelin Premier All Season is known as the tire that's safe when new, safe when worn, because it provides effective traction and stopping power in wet conditions even as the tire wears. Consistent with Michelin's vision for sustainable mobility, the Premier All Season does more for drivers while using less. Premier uses less rubber on the tread, respecting the value of scarce resources, while delivering long mileage as evidenced by its 60,000 mile warranty. We believe that the Premier is the safest tire in its category, even near the end of its useful life. Said another way, even when half worn, the Premier All Season stops shorter on wet roads than the leading competitor's brand new tires. Using proprietary rubber compounds that we describe as Evergrip technology, the Premier All Season provides excellent wet grip and outstanding winter performance over its life. Evergrip technology consists of a combination of features extremely high silica levels in the tread for wet grip, expanding and emerging rain grooves that maintain water evacuation even as the tire wears, a sunflower oil that keeps the rubber compound flexible even at colder temperatures, and tread blocks with full depth sipes that create the biting edges necessary to cut through snow 
over the life of the tire. As we continue to test more performance of tires across the category, our goal is to help educate dealers and consumers about how tire performances change over time so that they can make informed choices about safety, about the environment, and about real tire value. We believe that the drivers should only buy the tires they need when they need them. I'll reiterate in closing that long-lasting performance is a new insight for our industry. Tire performances change as you drive. Some worn tires deliver good performance throughout their lifespan, and some worn tires change dramatically over their life. And of course, we all drive on worn tires. Let's put this performance information about worn tires in the hands of consumers so that they can make the purchase decision that's best for them individually. We think it's an important conversation and we hope it's a discussion that you will join. By using only the resources that are necessary, by helping drivers do the same, by relentlessly improving quality and safety, Michelin is keeping our sustainable mobility promise to give people everywhere a better way forward, both today and for the generations to come. Thank you all for joining us here today and have a great day. Thank you very much.